Hey, today we're gonna make an AI that'll play and hopefully win the game 2048. Let's go! Intro Let's start this project by making the game first, because if there is no game, there is no AI. First we need to draw tiles. It says here that the highest possible tile is 131,072, or 2 to the 17th power. It's time to show you my pixel art skills. Just hold on a minute. Okay, it's ready. This looks good, I think. Now let's make the game itself. And it's done. It works fine, but it's boring. We need to add something cool, something interesting, something motivational. I thought about it for a while. Then I came up with a solution. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sally. Sally's gonna watch you play the game and whenever you do something good, she's gonna say things like Good job, amazing, incredible, awesome. But whenever you lose the game, she's gonna say things like I'm not impressed, you suck, did you even try, is that all you got? Since I couldn't find any female voice actors, hello, would you like to? No. Excuse me, no. Hey, no. I decided to use a text-to-speech software. I'll say anything you want. At least someone's listening to me. Okay, this game is finally finished. Now we can focus on the AI. When I was testing this game, I noticed that it was hard to reach the game over, even if I play it randomly. So let's see how good this can play if we use a random number generator. Okay, here are the results. I know it looks confusing, maybe it is confusing, but hear me out. This chart represents the scores obtained by the algorithm for the 64 rounds it played. Let's focus on this bar. What does it mean? It means that 21 rounds ended with scores that fall within this range. As you can see, this chart is slowly going downwards. And what does that mean? It means we have to be the luckiest person in the whole universe to reach the 2048 tile. Here's another chart. It shows you the frequency of the highest reached tiles. The most common tile was 64, while the least common was 16. And the highest tile this algorithm reached was 256. Okay, this method is garbage. Let's use a genetic algorithm instead, like we always do. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, I think I fixed it. Now we just have to wait. Alright, it's finished. Let's check the results. Drum roll please, and... Wow, I did not expect that. So this graph is fluctuating, meaning that the AI is not learning anything. You can't say that. Maybe it is learning. Just lower than you thought. Okay. Let's use a linear regression to find out. Here we go. Aha! See? I told you! I told you! Yeah, yeah, you did. But keep in mind that the linear regression is not very accurate. Even if it was accurate, it would take us about 6500 generations in order to reach the 2048 tile. Now I don't see the point in doing that, cause there is no guarantee that we're gonna succeed. So that's it? You're giving up? Of course not. We can use another algorithm. After googling for a while, I came across this method. We're gonna take the current state of the game and put it in our imagination. Then we're gonna randomly play that imaginary game until we lose. After that, we'll save our first move and our score. We'll repeat this process as many times as we want. Then we choose the game with the highest score and perform its first move in the real game. And after all that, we'll repeat the whole thing. That sounds good in theory, but the question is, will it work in practice? Let's hope for the best. Okay, it reached 512. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Okay, we're halfway there. Sally seems happy, so that's a good sign. Almost there. It's filling up. I don't like it. No. We should try again. Yes, yes. Oh, you little piece of If this doesn't work, I'm gonna scream. <gasps> okay, last attempt. Then I'm gonna try something else.
Finally. I'm so happy right now. I want to dance. You know what? I changed my mind. Alright, I think we did a pretty good job here. Of course there are better ways to do this. For example, we could use MinMax or Q-Learning, but I'm not gonna use them right now. Because first, I don't think my PC is strong enough for this. And second, I don't think I'm smart enough for this. Understand? Okay, that is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and like. Why? Because you can. Penguin.